friends i'm back with the brand new episode of cyber security today's topic is pgp yep not pg13 or pg15 it's purely pgp pgp stands for pretty good privacy as name suggests it is pretty good effective inscription method and it is an open source project today i'm going to introduce a real world example of pgp based application called mailvelop basically pgp does three things using a public key private key pair we can send and receive encrypted message we can verify the ID of encrypted message sender and also can be used to encrypt data in rest for those who need detailed video to understand the connection between data status encryption algorithm and key exchange please refer my previous video on encryption click on the above link or find the link on the description when we talk about email security conventionally smtp secure the payload while doing the transfer then why pgp it adds another extra layer to security which make it end to end encryption Wait a second. You don't have to know all the above secret to use Mailvelop application. These details are for nerds like me or let's say those candidate who are preparing for cyber security certificate. Let's come to the business. Today we are going to send a super secret message to our friends or colleague. First and obvious, go to Google and type Mailvelop and click on the first result that is Mailvelop website. You will see the download link of Chrome add-on at the middle of the page. Download it and install it on your Chrome browser. Now that you have the plugin, click on the setting button and start the configuration. You are now at key management tab. You can see two options. One, generate key which is to generate your own private and public key. Second option is to import which is used to import your friends or colleagues public key to send him an encrypted message this is called asymmetric key to know more about symmetric and asymmetric key check my previous video the link is at description Let's follow the step to generate key pair. Click on the generate button and fill the field with your name, email ID you wish to use and you can see the section of algorithm on advanced settings. I'm using the default settings and finally a password to store your key pair. Make it a complex one. If you want to know how to make a complex password that can easily remember for you, click on the above link and watch the video from cyber security lecturer Roshna Khalid. Click on the generate button on the top right corner of your tab. This may take a few seconds to generate the key. Once created, you can see there is an option to export your private key to a file. Save that on your computer and send across to your friends or colleague whom you want to communicate. Now you can move to next session which is import. Here you need to import the public key of whom you will be sending the email. Let me give you a quick tip on public key and private key. You should not share your private key with anyone, but share your public key with whom you want to make a communication with. And don't worry, if your public key got leaked while you sharing it, it doesn't affect your secrecy or the confidentiality because public key can only encrypt the data. You need the private key to decrypt it. Now let's authorize Mailvelop with Gmail. Please follow the step shown.
shows in the screen. It is not necessary that you need to integrate it with any of your mail client. You can also separately encrypt it with MailVelop and send the message through email provider. But if you have integration between, you can simply do the encryption and the sending process like a usual email sending process. Now let's see the step to send an email using MailVelop with the Gmail. I'm sending an email to my colleague Darlington whose public key I have already imported so he can decrypt this message with his private key. From Gmail, click on this icon, a new window will pop up, fill the sender's details and the mail, push the send button. Whoop, that's it. On a later stage, we will see how does the receiver see the message. I have already requested Darlington to send an email using the MailVelope plugin. Now let's see how we can do a manual encryption. If you don't have an integration with Gmail, go back to MailVelop add-on and click on the encrypt tab. Fill your message and attach the file you need to encrypt and then click on the encrypt button. All your input became an encrypted file. By clicking download button, you can just download it and then you can attach that file with any of your email clients. Now I'm using Gmail. Let me compose a new email to Darlington on a plain text format, but our real content is attached as an encrypted format. We saw how to send an encrypted mail. Let's see how to read one. Yes, I just received an encrypted email from Darlington. Let's open and try. See this email is enclosed with a MailVelop border because it is just been decrypted with my private key. Let's do a testing on a different browser where I am not imported my private key. See it looked like a usual Gmail message but the message are scrambled because it is an RSA encrypted ciphertext. It can only read after decrypting with my private key. This is the benefit of end to end encryption. Let's see the second email from him. A plain email attached with encrypted message. First thing first, download the attachment. Then go to MailVelop plugin and select decrypt tab, add the encrypted file using add button and then just push the decrypt button. Congrats, you have been decrypted the secret. Now it's a readable plain text and attached image is visible with its full color. One of my YouTube thumbnail. How beautiful is that? Uh -huh. just awesome. This conclude the super secret message episode. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and comment your doubts and click the bell icon for future interesting video. Thanks again.